Gee, Gadge, you're stronger than Chaz. What's going on here? VK, uh, 3BA, VK, 3H5, portable. Uh, I'm on double with you. Sorry, Gadge. Uh, you know, lovely signal from your cab. A microwave activity day, known by its acronym in the amateur radio community as a MAD, is a day when microwave enthusiasts dust off their gear and call CQ. MADs are regular events in both Victoria and Queensland. They are usually ad hoc events, but sometimes planned, where amateur radio operators with a passion for microwave communications find oh, themselves on hilltops you. working other like-minded amateurs. Roger, roger, VK3ER portable, VK3KQ portable, uh, 10 over 9, Pete, 10 over 9, there you go, 24 gigs. We have quite a few stations and three, four bands, so that's good. These events don't tend to be on any club or organisation's calendar. They just tend to occur as the need arises. It's an event where microwave enthusiasts can put their gear through its paces. MADS focus on the microwave band starting at 23 centimetres, a band a lot of people have. In Australia, standard and advanced operators have microwave privileges. If you hold a foundation license, then why not tag along with others? Microwave activity days are all about using the bands and microwave radio gear that you've accumulated. A similar event is the VHF UHF contest, which adds the lower 6 metre, 2 metre, and 70 centimetre bands into the mix. There are three organised VHF UHF field days each year on the calendar here in Australia during winter, spring, and summer. CQ Field Day, CQ Field Day, CQ Field Day, VK3 KQ, VK3 Kilo Quebec Portable. This contest focuses on bands above and including six metres. These three field days are national competitions. CQ Field Day, CQ Field Day, CQ Field Day, VK3 KQ, VK3 Kilo Quebec Portable. Oh, he's got a loud signal. Hello, Frank. VK3 KQ, VK3. Uh, uh, no, sorry, that's uh, me. Uh, VK3 OP, VK3 KQ. As the dates are well publicised in advance, club stations make a pilgrimage to a hilltop in central Victoria. So what's the difference between a field day and a MAD? A field day is a competition to see who can make as many high scoring contacts as possible in a given period. In contrast, a MAD is a couple of no stress hours trying to work others on the microwave bands using voice and now amateur television. No points, no exchange of numbers, well, excluding the odd mobile phone number, and no pressure to move on to the next QSO to get the next serial number. Getting out of the shack and up onto a hill is key to successful microwave contacts, but some home stations in elevated locations can do well too. Mads foster hilltop operation, where the journey and destination is half the fun of the day. It's not until you're a long way from home that you quite often realise you've left something behind. Improvisation then becomes the name of the game. ICOM's IC905 is a VHF, UHF and microwave radio that has been available in Australia since 2023. Since its launch, activity in Victoria has grown exponentially. 
The 905 has three microwave bands, 23, 13 and 6 centimetres, with an optional 10 gigahertz module. It's a radio that has two parts, an RF head and a controller, joined together with many metres of Cat5. This allows the RF electronics to be as close as possible to the antenna. Some take the 905 portable, others use it at home. The availability of this radio has given many operators access to the microwave bands, which would otherwise have been in the realms of those who build gear. If you're keen to see other microwave gear options, check out the video Amateur Microwave, it's easier than you think. If you're going to try a MAD, there are a couple of considerations. Antenna placement in public places is important. Even though most microwave transmitters have power output of a few watts, antenna gain can see the radiated power reach a few kilowatts in front of a dish. So keeping the immediate area clear in front of these antennas matters. Dish antennas are very susceptible to gusts of wind, so to prevent blowovers, be sure to securely anchor them or keep them clear of objects that can be easily damaged, such as your car. Smaller antennas can be more portable friendly. Sure, there are a few dB down on the large antennas, but your elevation will easily make up for the lower EIRP. Power is also a consideration when going portable. Radios and transverters may be low power devices, but running a few on many bands simultaneously can draw a bit of current. Over a few hours, this can be taxing on a battery. And if you're using your car battery, for example, you may have issues starting your vehicle. This can be problematic if you're a fair way from civilization. If portable radio operation is your thing, a second battery under the bonnet is a really good idea. Or maybe investing in a small generator or a quality solar blanket. If you want to get involved in a MAD, even if you're starting with a portable 23 centimetre station and you live in VK4 or VK3, then you're in luck. The Brisbane VHF group is an active group of microwave enthusiasts who have monthly events, including the popular 23 on 23 day. In Victoria, look for the VK3 microwave group in groups.io. There are around 80 members of this group, some of who participate in the monthly MADs. This list is primarily for active VK3 amateurs, but everyone is welcome. 10 gigs VK3 KRD on 10 gigs there. Roger on all that. VK3 FS3 KRD. Microwave activity days are stress-free events where everyone and anyone interested in microwave is welcome to participate. Home stations and portable stations are all part of the day. Whether you're a newbie or a seasoned veteran, we're all still learning about and trying to perfect our stations. Continuous tweaks and adjustments is the name of the mad game. The microwave bands all have their own unique characteristics. All are affected differently by the atmosphere and all have their own particular challenges.